at Smith coming in under it. It's a great catch. Marvellous catch by Mike Smith, that long leg. Ian Chappell hooking. What a great catch that was to take the third Australian wicket. Crowd standing up. The Australians in the dressing room looking disconsolate at the moment, as well they might. Snow testing Ian Chappell with that bouncer. A top edge from Chappell and Smith. The spectacle and 38 years of age racing in, throwing himself full length on the ground to take what could be the decisive wicket in this match. It's deep square, Dolavera coming around, he's under it, and it's a great catch. Marvellous running catch by Basil Dolavera. Breaks the partnership of 289. Gifford. A slightly slower delivery, around about middle and leg. Marsh clubbed it away high over deep square leg and Dolavera was well behind square leg. Had to make a lot of ground there. And running at full tilt steadied himself and took a very, very fine running catch. Tony Gregg, the man. What a tremendous catch. Now that must go down as one of the really great catches of all time. And Gregg showing the spectators that he caught it. The only doubt could have been whether or not he was over the line in taking it, but what a marvellously judged catch. Really superb piece of cricket. He's caught it. Oh, Thompson collects the wicket. Caught it, third man, would you believe? And that's a fairly unusual dismissal. One doesn't see that too often in a test match. Alan Knott looking for the square cut. A little bit of extra bounce there from Thompson, and it floated away, the wind helping it, of course, and ended up with Kerry O'Keefe down at the third man. That's a bit more like it. Good old-fashioned hook around. Brill is going after it. The great catch of him makes it. And it's beautifully caught. Tremendous catch. Well, you won't see many better running catches in the outfield than that one. And the catch well worth seeing again. Cross-batted Hoyt there from Roberts. And look at the ground he got a cover. And the ball coming over it. No real clear side of it at any stage. And yet took it so safely off to both of them. Mm, he's going for a big one. Is he going to be caught? And it's a magnificent catch. We saw a great catch out there by Brearley. And this is Richards. He's really taken a superlative catch on the fence. The whole West Indian team converging on him. So both of them goes for four. And England now 188 for seven. And just look at that catch. 